Okay, folks, uh, follow up video on the Marley uh, display uh, store display demo model. I showed you this in the last video. You'll notice uh, there's three speakers here. I didn't have a chance to open it up at the time, but I have since. And I took taken the screws off the back. You can see the back plate right here and the bottom plate over there. I'm going to show you what's inside of here. Let's start by turning this around and having a look. Okay, so there's the back. You'll notice this is a some kind of a light panel that illuminates and shines behind the logo here so that the Marley shows up nice and white and probably just a bunch of LEDs. This is the main board that seems to be driving everything. You'll notice there are three audio jacks here. These go out to each of the speakers. I've tried plugging in different sources and I'm getting sound directly out of the speakers. So I can just pull this out with the speaker and they should be able to actually just play music out from a phone or other thing. It's just regular line out. Okay, I'll plug that back in. There's three speakers. These are for the buttons. You'll notice, I think uh, these are going to have the on off or, or light. I'm not sure exactly why there's four leads, but basically you're gonna have the contact probably and power for each of these things. And each, each has a, a single pin. So, and you have five buttons, right? There's three for the speakers and you have two that control volume. It looks like a bank of 60, uh, 12 here. And the board here you can program. And I, I guess it's made to be used for different numbers of buttons for different displays. That's why you'll also notice a, way, a lot more audio jack outputs. They decided to put here, use one, two, three, but it looks like up to six different uh, speakers could be used. And you'll notice here, you you know, potentially one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, so 12, but I'm not, you know, for whatever reason, they decided to use these particular ones. I'm not sure if they have a, set, a certain assignment or not. Um, other than that, there's power input into the board right here. Okay, just some big, huge power cable. There's another port there, I'm not sure why. For, for example, if it may be daisy chains, you know, it could be going in here and then you keep going, or perhaps it needs additional power. I'm not sure what that's for. There's also another audio input here, or maybe an output. I don't know what that's for. Uh, a look at the board if you want to see what the chips are here. Um, I, I can't really tell much about this. It just says, this, did data display filler? And that's basically it. There is an SD card here. Pull that out. And this has the music on it. I, uh, I opened it up on a computer already and had a look. Dash Design Works. P purchase order A1106 101316. So not, not sure if, what that is. Okay. Now, if we flip it over, I'm going to turn it over and we're going to have a look at the base. Okay, I don't want to bend it over fully because I'm going to ruin the back. I don't have the back on. So I'm going to bend it over and lean it up on these boxes here. And let's have a look under. So underneath, you'll see, hold on a second. Uh, I'm going to rest this on something because, again, I don't want to ruin the uh, the board on the back. Okay, here we go. All right, interestingly, that power cable that goes in feeds into this, um, into this power bar. You see? There's an on-off switch in there. If I can get a little bit easier, increase the, the light here. Uh, not sure if we're getting anything there. 
but basically that's the main power board and there's actually three one two three different adapters power adapters that go off to each of the speakers and this fourth one here right there there's another one that probably runs the board okay at the the micro board on the the other side not all of them are the same this one for example has this kind of connector probably for the bigger speaker let me plug that back in um, there's another one and then the third one here funny enough has a micro USB you see it Let's zoom in on there it's a micro USB that they kind of you know put together there so they go straight into the speakers from the base so the speakers take the audio directly but it they're amplified you can see here that's power and the other one it goes the audio goes straight to that board on the other side so we have audio and, and here's one of the buttons for example you can see there's four leads coming off probably one for a light and uh, you know to power the light the LED in there on each end and the two that make the contact switch so that's why you have four cables going to each of the buttons so there you have it Let me bring this back up here that's the display and a little bit of an idea of what's inside this thing let me just focus come on yep so the speakers I'm able to drive directly when it's plugged in by just unplugging the um, that 3.5 millimeter audio jack from the board on the back and I can just run my own audio through here what I'll do next is I'm gonna start to disassemble and remove the components what I want to do is take out this board I want to actually remove all of the speakers so I can have it independent and um, eventually I want to get inside of each speaker to see if there's actually any electronics in here or not there have to be at least amplifiers in each of the speakers because we do have power going to the speaker and audio and that's it and the that board here there's no way that this board is is you know through these cables supplying the kind of voltage needed to to do it uh, or sorry the the line levels because i was able to just plug this into my phone and play like very very loud music out of the speaker so we know for sure that this is being amplified but not from this this source it's being amplified within the speaker itself so did the people who made the display put a, a separate amplifier board in here or is it using what what you know comes with the marley did they somehow hack into the whatever marley has hack the volume jacks and set it to the maximum and basically override it by using these volume settings that that affect the board you know it's curious to see what they did and you know how accurate is this display because if they are putting you know if they're basically just driving the speakers but and using the board on the back um you know to, to handle the audio and they're also um you know using an amp that's not actually part of the marley uh you know speaker that's some third party amp that they're putting inside you know we don't know if it's necessarily going to reproduce the quality and the sound that these speakers are um, trying to sell you know it's if it's that modified then what are they really selling what are what are we demoing here exactly we're demoing sound coming from a third party board we're demonstrating um, an amplifier that's inside each speaker that's coming that that's basically a third party amplifier that's driving them so you know how accurate is that at that point you know you're just looking at it and um, you know you're wondering if you how much can you modify before you start to misrepresent what you're trying to sell um, in any case that'll be for another time um, look forward to doing another video in this series um, next video will be showing hopefully all of these detached 
and separated out from this large metal display cabinet uh, tree here. And we will drive the speakers directly from various sources. And I'm gonna look at the programming as well on this SD card. And we'll see exactly what's in here and what's used to set it up. So again, glad you uh, watched this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and we'll follow up on the next video. Bye for now.